We often face the daunting problem of balancing the need for economic development with the imperative of environmental conservation, especially in the natural resource extraction industry. Can the process of planting and harvesting forests on a scale of thousands of hectares and at a breakneck speed be carried out sustainably without causing serious damage to the ecosystem? This is the key question that nations with developed forestry sectors have been answering using a solution based on technology and discipline. The reality shows that in these forestry powerhouses, this process has moved far beyond simple manual intervention, evolving instead into a fully mechanized, closed-loop cycle. From site preparation and sapling planting up to the stage of precise harvesting using specialized heavy machinery, everything adheres to a rigorous and astonishingly modernized process. When discussing large-scale logging operations, we cannot help but marvel at the extraordinary progress of mechanical technology. Today, harvesting hundreds of trees in just one hour has become a reality thanks to specialized tree-cutting machines that execute a nearly flawless chain of automated processes. This is not merely felling, it is a precisely calculated procedure. The machine quickly severs the trunk, uses robotic arms to strip away all extraneous limbs, then applies computer algorithms to cut the stem into uniform, pre-programmed lengths and finally stacks them neatly at a collection point. The combination of breakneck speed and high precision has transformed this process into an incredible mechanical ballet, operating efficiently even on the most challenging and rugged terrain. However, this efficiency, based on standardization, raises a crucial question that requires discussion. Can systems programmed based on size and shape uniformity cope flexibly with the diversity and abnormalities inherent in nature? If we face a forest of acacia or melaleuca, where tree trunks often lack ideal straightness, being curved, twisted, or having abnormal structures, will these cutting and sorting algorithms maintain productivity and optimize raw timber? The limitations of artificial intelligence and mechanization in adapting to biological variables remain a subject requiring deeper study and evaluation to determine whether manual intervention is irreplaceable in certain special cases. After the harvesting process is complete, the next challenge is the daunting logistical problem. In remote, isolated, or overly complex forested areas, constructing transport roads is either prohibitively expensive or forbidden due to environmental concerns. This is where helicopter logging or heli logging plays a decisive role. Utilizing strong suspension cables, helicopters undertake the task of lifting and rapidly moving felled logs out of the forest, sometimes being the only way to access sensitive areas without harming the ground ecosystem. In the management and regeneration of thousand-hectare forestry areas, site clearing after logging operations or in undeveloped regions always presents a dual challenge of efficiency and economy. Vegetative remnants such as saplings, shrubs, or dense ground cover not only impede the replanting process but also significantly reduce the primary seedlings' access to light and nutrients. So how can this enormous workload be tackled rapidly while optimizing the budget and minimizing risk to workers? This is precisely when we need to discuss a large-scale mechanization solution, dubbed the giant chaining method, a testament to innovation in modern forestry engineering. This method is essentially a high-intensity solution that harnesses control destructive power. Two heavy-duty tractors designed to operate in parallel act as the prime movers for a specialized chain. This is no ordinary chain. It is a colossal strand, often extending up to 100 meters and weighing several tons, secured firmly to the rear of each vehicle. As the two machines move, they drag the chain in a wide arc, transforming it into a massive, continuous plow blade. The destruction this chain creates is nothing short of spectacular. 
With its immense weight and inertia, it sweeps away and levels every obstacle in its path, from small tree trunks and thickets to ground vegetation. Observing this scene, it is easy to liken it to a controlled and directed hurricane, swiftly clearing the site in mere moments. To enhance effectiveness, engineers even weld reinforcing steel bars onto the links, ensuring the chain maintains the necessary weight and stays low to the ground, increasing its ability to break up large stumps upon impact. However, what truly makes this method stand out and worthy of discussion is the reasoning behind its existence. Many people will surely ask, why go to the trouble of using such heavy machinery and steel rather than simply using fire? Wouldn't burning, the traditional method, be faster, completely destroy the remnants, and appear to be more cost-effective initially? The answer lies in three key aspects – safety, speed, and especially, ecological sustainability. First, regarding occupational safety, using manual chainsaws over large areas always carries the risk of serious accidents due to falling trees or equipment failure. In contrast, the chaining method allows operators to work safely inside protected cabins, significantly minimizing the risk of direct exposure to physical hazards. Second, although burning may seem fast, for forest areas spanning thousands of hectares, this mechanized method is proven to be the quickest and most cost-effective site-clearing approach in the long run. When we look at the overall landscape of modern forestry, the most fundamental challenges always revolve around land clearing and reforestation. The most difficult phase, and a fascinating topic for discussion, is when, after felling the trees and clearing the brush, stubborn tree stumps deeply embedded in the ground begin to reveal themselves. How do we remove these massive obstructions efficiently and quickly? The answer does not lie in human labor, but in an extraordinary mechanized solution, the high-speed stump removal machine called the Savannah Global. At first glance, the Global's design appears surprisingly simple, but the efficiency it delivers is what we truly need to focus on discussing. The machine consists of only two large, powerfully rotating discs, permanently attached to the rear of a specialized tractor. However, the secret lies in the outer rim of each disc, which is equipped with razor-sharp teeth operating like massive mechanical claws. They dig deep and tear into the ground, uncompromisingly ripping even the largest stumps and roots from the soil. The machine's working capacity is astonishing. In relatively flat terrain, the Global can uproot hundreds of stumps in just one hour. Imagine, this speed is hundreds of times faster than using excavators or other traditional equipment, which works slowly and expensively. Furthermore, the Savannah Global is not limited to destruction and clearing. It also functions as a multi-purpose device, simultaneously plowing and pulverizing the subsoil, creating ideal conditions for the subsequent planting phase. Clearly, this is a tool built for large-scale forestry operations, where trees are planted in organized rows, demanding a synchronized and high-efficiency workflow. Indeed, watching this machine in action, one can only marvel at the power and time savings it brings to forestry work. Once the land clearing and root removal phase is thoroughly completed, we move on to the aspect of construction and creation, planting the trees. Where the familiar site used to be laborers struggling with hoes and spades, the advent of the planting machine has now ushered in a new era of unmatched speed and precision.